Hello there. Okay, here's Music Room 1, the first level of our seven level program. This is for beginning primary or pre-primary students, so about age four to six. It was developed over some 30 years odd with uh, some music educators. And the brief was to create a program that was fun and engaging for children easy to deliver for teachers and answered curriculum requirements. So let's open up the book and let's start with lesson one and a little song. Are you ready to rock and roll? Well, here we go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, my dad's got an electric guitar. You might think he's getting old, but and you've got to play air guitar at that point. <laughs> okay, we'll stop you there, Rob. Now, um, this is lesson one. As you can see, the lesson is laid out in a double page spread. Uh, here's the unit and lesson number and uh, what the lesson's about. Over here, is the element, the musical element that we're dealing with and in lesson one, it's beat. And the objective is that students keep a steady beat using different body parts. So we'll go over here to this fella and we'll uh, move. Not your shoulders, just your head. Now move your arms. Just your arms, not your shoulders. You've really got to concentrate, haven't you? <laughs> okay, we're getting to feel the beat right through our different body parts. And that's our, fir our first lesson content there. We're going to go to the next lesson and you will see that it is also beat. We do pairs of lessons, uh, two lessons on beat. And this time we're going to keep the beat through body percussion and also through classroom instruments. Okay, here it is using body percussion. or teacher can point to the icons. And we're keeping the beat with our hands. We're putting the beat in our hands. And now you put the beat in your feet. And then of course on your knees and finger snap, which is the hardest one for the little students. Okay, now if we uh, go back to the lesson, We've got another exercise here, and it is classroom instruments. We're going to keep the beat on tambourines, drums, um, shakers, and sticks. So you can put your students into four groups, and uh, when the instrument comes up, they can play. So it's like this. Okay, I would point to the tambourine, and all the tambourine players can keep the beat. And now let's hear the drums. Keep the beat on the drums. And, and then of course the, the shakers and the sticks. We can return to the lesson now. And we're going to go to lesson number three. Now remember we had two lessons in beat. Now we're going to have two lessons in pitch. And pitch at this level is all about high and low. And we'll do some uh, songs, we'll do some dances, and we'll do some simple playing of the xylophones. You can see there that this xylophone has only the two Ds on it. All the others, other bars have been removed to make it easy for the students to play low and high D. Easy for the teacher too. Okay, here's the lesson four, which is the second 
of our two pitch lessons. And this time, as well as songs and playing, we have a little, uh, a little poem that the students had uh, high and low sounds with their voices and with classroom instruments. Have a listen. Hey diddle diddle, the cat played the fiddle. The dog chased him right up a tree. <laughs> Down on the ground, he ran round and round. Woof, woof, woof. While the cat was as safe as could be. Well, that is an absolute winner with, with young children. They love that one. Okay, on to lesson five. And now the first in a pair of lessons on dynamics, which at this stage is simply loud or soft. Okay, we're going to have songs. We're going to have some music. We're going to play some games. And in the next lesson, we're going to have a little sound story. We're still dealing with dynamics, soft and loud, loud and soft. Uh, this time, we, the, our objective is the students respond to loud and soft through listening, voice and playing. And what we're going to do is have a little story. And the story will have loud parts and soft parts. And the students will have either loud or soft instruments. Chloe's lost Teddy. It was nearly Chloe's bedtime and she was very tired. But she couldn't go to bed without her Teddy. <laughs> but where was Teddy? Chloe looked in her room. But it wasn't there. So she looked in her baby brother's room. He was fast asleep. It was very quiet. No Teddy there. She looked in the kitchen. Mum had put the dishwasher on. It was very loud. Have you seen my Teddy, Mum? Sorry, Chloe, said Mum. There's no Teddy here. So you can see how that works. And if you want to know what happened and whether Chloe found her Teddy, you're going to have to have a close look at level one of Music Room. <laughs> okay, we're going to go back to the lesson. And lesson seven now is fast and slow. Tempo. Fast and slow. This time we've got, um, we've got, we've got some uh, listening. We've got some singing. And one of the songs has actions to it. So we're going to have a look at the actions. The actions, these actions here, are what you're going to see in the video, just to make it easier for the teacher. Here we go. Ah, run, sun, sun. Ah, run, sun, sun. Gooly, 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 run, sun, sun. Back to the lesson. Okay, and finally in this unit, we have the second of the tempo lessons. And this time we have a sound story, the hare and the tortoise, and the students will play along with the story, either fast or slow. Okay, I'm gonna go, I won't do that one for you. I think I'll get back to the contents so we can just have a look at what we've done. Here's unit one, which is all about the, the, the musical elements or the musical concepts. And we've had two lessons on beat, two lessons on pitch, two lessons on dynamics, and two lessons on tempo. 
And that's one whole unit, which is about a term's worth of work, if you like. Unit two is the same pattern, two beat, two pitch, two dynamics and two tempo. And unit three is also the same. But unit four is a little bit different. Unit four is uh, only six lessons, not eight, only six, but they are all about musical context. So this first one, uh, unit four, lesson one is music in time. And I'm just going to show you a little bit about this. Oh, hang on, I should show you the chart here. There's the chart. Okay, let's have a little listen to Rockin' in the Band. And the students will be miming any instrument they like from the uh, from the chart, and each instrument will get its own little solo. Now, same lesson, but this and same song, but this time done from a different era. This is a chamber group. <laughs> oh, hang on. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, this is what I want. A chamber group. Okay. I'm playing in the band And the students can pick an instrument I'm playing in the band Please give me a hand I'm playing in the band Hear my violin Hear my violin etc so that's a lovely thing they get to see they get to hear how uh, different styles of music from different times can sound different okay the next the next lesson in this group of context lessons is music for special occasions birthdays christmas that sort of thing and then we have a couple of dancing uh dancing lessons uh where we look at old time dancing rock and roll dancing hip hop dancing and dance that tells a story in other words ballet we do a little ballet with the students uh, and the students are going to play the part of the chickens the ponies the pigs the sheep and Lauren, who looks after all the animals on the farm. So there's a voice, well, I'll show you a little bit about it. Here we go. The Barnyard Ballet. This is Lauren. She lives on a farm. Every morning before she catches the bus to school, Lauren has jobs to do around the farm. She loves her jobs. Her first job is to feed the chickens. She scatters the pellets around the yard and the chickens go scratching around, picking them up. They are very excited. Next, she takes the ponies out of the barn and lets them have a good gallop around. So we're introducing the students to a ballet at a very, very young age, and it's, it is a, a ballet that they can actually do. Okay, on to lesson five, which is music that tells a story. And this is a, uh, a sound effects story where they will use classroom instruments to make the sounds of the various parts of the story. Here we go, the sun and the wind. Um, as you can see here, we're using 
classroom instruments and this is a drum with some stones in it that makes a sound of thunder. It's a really good little trick. Okay, at the end of the term, we then go to a performance piece. It's the end of year performance piece. And we take the students with the, this is the rehearsal, uh, the rehearsal parts. It's two lessons this should take. And that'll, that'll give you a, a good eight lessons for term four. Um, th this is involving activities and songs and movement and dances that the kids have done during the year. Oh, and we've got some downloadable uh, award charts and some pro formers that will uh, that you can send home to, to parents if the, the students need to bring something from school from home sorry to school. Okay, and there's also outcomes tracking and content checklist and uh, other goods and and pieces, other bits and pieces. <laughs> okay, all right, I'm going to sign off here and uh, we will have a look at um, level two in just a moment.